well that wraps up my double feature for tonight house of the devil um when i when she went to the house and met the guy who ran it i was like is that the guy from the lawnmower man but it wasn't i was like i know i had seen him in something before and it was Tom Noonan who played Kane in RoboCop 2. I liked how it was set in the 80s. That look of the 80s look. Because it, it reminded me of so many more, so many other horror movies. It had a really good score. I loved the opening. Uh, it was creepy at parts. It definitely took a while to get going. But I liked the anticipation of waiting for something to happen almost like skin marink like that's what i kind of really like that movie because it was like the anticipation of something happen and like basically you know being in the dark and hearing sounds and noises and wondering what that is but anyway um but yeah uh i like t west's style and he was he shot this movie on 16 millimeter so it kind of gave it that kind of grindy look almost like a texas chainsaw massacre i enjoyed it i'll give it a seven i thought it was good um the characters weren't that great but i really dig the 80s style look 80s it was almost like an 80s horror movie um but yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing uh, x and and uh pearl so um, this movie costs 900000 to make, and it only did 100000 Uh, it had a limited run in theaters. It was mostly just released on VOD back in 2009. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of glad I watched this tonight. So, oh man, um, I won't spoil the scene in case you want to see House of the Devil, but, um... Oh my gosh, when her friend stopped to have a cigarette and when the guy was like, are you the babysitter? Oh, that part made me jump what happened. But yeah, like I said, uh, 7 out of 10, I thought it was good. It got it like an 80, I think it's holding like an 87% on Rotten Tomatoes. So, but yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you're a horror movie fan and if you have Shudder.